Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. I'm going to do an unboxing here of the Angel Tarot. Um, we just did an unboxing, there's another video, for the Occult Tarot um, by Travis uh, McHenry. Um, he did both decks. Um, I was trying to figure out when I was doing this unboxing how um, the angels and the demons correspond, and I think, think I figured it out. So what I'm going to do is, as I flip through the Angel Tarot, I'm also going to just, I'm not going to say anything I might say something about the the occult tarot, um, but really I'm just kind of looking at the comparisons between the two because we've got as above, so below, essentially. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at this angel tarot. Um, so these are great boxes, honestly, great boxes. Um, I don't particularly care for my boxes this big, especially if the book inside is not, not going to have a whole lot of information. Well, this has got more information than the than the occult box and then they match I get it but um, this size box for this size deck isn't really efficient space saver for me that's just my personal preference so saying that out loud for those manufacturers out there who might be watching um, so Angel Tarot I'm gonna do the same thing in this one and I'm going to read the introduction um, for this deck um, Let's first turn this over and you can see that um, in this deck, it starts with actually the chariot, um, which represents Michael, who is like God and says perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity. Um, and his lower half is going to be this Azazel. Um, so I guess Michael, you know overpowers him or something I don't know I don't know but I figured I would put them up there when we get down um, to unboxing the rest of these cards you can skip through the book part um but I am going to read the introduction I think just an introduction just page one here come on now that's one page okay introduction according to the secret doctrine of Cornelius Agrippa Every mortal born on earth has three guardian angels. Agrippa's occult philosophy is rooted in the sacred Kabbalah or secret tradition of Israel, which postulates that the powers of the 72 angels of Shem, Ha Meforesh, are distributed throughout the times, days, and seasons. It is from this source that we obtain knowledge of their names, attributes, and mysteries. Your first angelic guide is divine rank and order. It is commissioned by the command of God, and the charge of the soul is given to this angel at the time of the soul's creation. This angel is the reactor and the governor of life, imparting divine light and helping lift up the soul toward a higher spiritual existence. The first angel operates within the confines of the 24 hours of the day. Your second angelic guide emanates from the astrological world, from the power of the stars. It will lead mortals along the path of virtue. And its influence is on qualities of the moral order, or qualities of the moral order, and things that pass into expression and speech. The second angel operates within specific days of the month of the year. Your third angelic guide emanates from the physical world. It governs the physical aspect of a mortal's existence on earth, and influences health, motions, and actions. The third angel operates in successive periods of days throughout the year. These names must not be thought of in a limited or personal sense. It so happens that the angelic offices are interchangeable and an angel who governs the physical part of one particular child may also be a leader into the light of the soul belonging to another. While he also presides over the moral qualities and dispositions of a third, it is written in the book of Hebrews, all angels, all angels are Ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. And in the book of Luke, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So, um, there's a hierarchy of uh, angels. Um, seraphim is the highest ranking angel. The cherubim. Um, the cherubs guard the Garden of Eden. We've got thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, colossians, principalities, archangels, 
and angels. And then it's got conjuring just like the other one, the grand pentacle of Solomon. That is probably the one page I do want to read because I read it in the other book. And that way you have something to compare. Um, so let's do this. The grand pentacle of Solomon. This pentacle serves to reconcile the benevolence of good spirits and to granulize and destroy our fear so that we will be able to protect ourselves from the fury that may occur with their arrival. When the spirits gaze upon the beauty of this pentacle, it is so great that it restrains the spirits and compels them to appear under forms that will not cause fear or trembling. Okay. Um, let's do this unboxing. I think I'm going to do it this way this time. I don't know which is going to be easier to see. I know. Decisions, decisions. <clears throat> oh, since we've already done this one. These are nice thick cards, really. I and mean, I love the gold edging. I love the gold edging. Oh, it's so shiny. Okay. Um. All right. I suppose we can get to this now. I'm just going to do it the old regular way that I normally do it. All right. So Michael represents the chariot. He is perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity. And his demon brother is Azale. All right. Well, you can see them all. Now we've got uh, Metatron um, is the Wheel of Fortune. He is the Recording Angel. Um, advancement and Progress teaches guides and records. Oh, God. Advancement and Progress teaches guides and records events in the Book of Life. So he is ruled by Baphomet, and let's see. Gabriel is the moon. God is my strength. Divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. His match is Beelzebub. Oh, look at that. They're both the moon. That is cool. Okay, because I didn't see that happening when I was doing that before. That's very interesting. Okay, Gabriel is the moon. Beelzebub. Now we have Haniel is the lovers, joy of God. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. And the opposite of Haniel is Lucifer, which is the death card. Um, and then we've got the devil, of course, <laughs> Samuel, um, Samael, uh, the severity of God, seduction and downfall communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. And his um, counterpart is Lucifuge Rufacal, Rufacale, and that's the Ace of Pentacles. And he gives all worldly power and treasures, makes one rich uh, quickly. I can see how that kind of goes in with seduction there a little bit. But anyways, I just want to kind of compare. I'm just comparing as just like you are. All right. Um, so we've got, that's interesting that the devil for this one is the very next card. Alrighty. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I'm going so slow. I shouldn't be going so slow. Okay. So this is the tower, Uriel, the fire of God, disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. You guys can see the demon that it's associated with. Uh, the fool, the Huia. Um, this is the first angelic number or the first angel in the deck. First angelic number. This is the first goic, goic number. Um, so you're just observing this, but this is the deck that we're, un we're opening. We're unboxing this one. Okay. So the fool um, is... Vahuia, the exalting God, will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. All right. And um, Two of Wands, Jeliel, 
Jellio. Yep. The Helping God, Love and Wisdom, Victory Over Those Who Would Attack You. This is Three of Wands, Sit Sitael, the God of Hope, Construction of the Universe, Help with Great Works, Protection from Adversaries. Then we've got the Queen of Wands, Elamia, uh, the Hidden God, Divine Power, Guards Against Mental Troubles. And I'm going to flip that over just so you can see the back of that card for a second. Um, and we've got the Four of Wands, which is Mahasaya, God the Savior, Rectification, Helps with One, Live in Peace with Everyone. I need that one. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Knight of Pentacles, Layla Hell, the praiseworthy God, light of understanding, acquires knowledge and cures illness. Okay, Five of Pentacles is uh, Achiaia, number seven, the forbearing God, patience reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. Alrighty. Oh, I'm all over the place with this. Okay. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Kahithel, the adored god, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agriculture production. And then we've got the Hierophant, Haziel, the merciful god. Divine forgiveness, it pains friendship, and favors of the great secures promises. Sorry, I don't know why that was so hard to read. Um, Six of Pentacles, Aladia, uh, the favorable God. Uh-oh, I missed one. Sorry about that. Um, it's demon is the viewer. Um, Six of Pentacles, Aladia, favorable, the favorable God, divine grace, cures rage and pestilence, Absolves the guilty. Then we have King of Swords. Um, is the Lauia. Lauia? Yeah, okay. Lauia. Uh, the Exalted God. Victory grants victory and protection from lightning. All right. Page of Swords. It just looks like ha 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 I think that's what it is. Ha ha yeah. Okay. Uh, God the refuge. Refuge governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, Azalel. Uh, Azalel. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to try that anymore. God sung above all. Loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation. And then we have the Eight of Swords, Mabahel, uh, God, Protector, and Savior, Truth and Justice, Protection from Enemies Who Would Steal One's Fortune. Alrighty. And then we have um, the Nine of Swords, Hariel, the, comfort the Comforting God, Purification, Protection from the imp imp Impious, Impious, Impious. Purification, protection from the impious, re religious sentiments. And we have eight strength. Uh, Hakamaya, number 16, that is the angel, um, the angel number. Uh, the raising God, loyalty, delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory. Ten of swords. Luaya, Luaya, the marvelous God. Revelation protects from sadness, gives revelations and dreams. Justice, Kaliel, uh, the invocable God. Justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. The Two of Cups. Um... Liuya, <laughs> the swiftly 
hearkening God. Fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. All right. Um, Queen of Cups, Pahilia, God the Redeemer. Redemption serves against enemies of religion and governs chastity. All right. So we've got the Hanged Man, Nechao. Nechai, Nechael, um, or Nechel. Okay. The only God. Desire for knowledge protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. Um, all right. Now we've got the Three of Cups. Um, uh, Aia, A L. Oh my God. That's like A E I O U. Okay. Uh, I A E I L. I, e I E I O, E I E I L, <laughs> I E. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. The right hand of God, fame and renown, renown influence. Oh my gosh, fame and renown influences and commerce, voyages and great discoveries. Okay, four of cups. Uh, the God deflecting evil. Healing capacity, protection from weapons, safety, and travel. Now we have the Knight of Wands. ha hu -hua. <laughs> God, the good in himself. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. All right. Then we've got the Magician. Nithahaiha. The Generous God. Spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. Uh, five of Wands. Ha, ha, ya. ha, ya. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm just sounding these out. I must sound ridiculous. Okay. God, listening in uh, concealment, politics and ambition, wins judgments and protects... All those who seek the truth. All right. This one is the Page of Wands. Um, prevent the preventing. Oh, Ierathel, the preventing God. Propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders. Slaves from, uh, or saves from enemies. My gosh, I can't read these. Propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders, and saves from enemies. Okay, whatever. Can't read it, can't read it, I guess. Okay, Six of Wands. Sihaya, God who took evil. Longevity protects against infirmities. Seven of Wands. Oh, Rayael, Rayael, okay. The expected God. Uh, liberation, deliverance from enemies both visible and invisible. The Ace of Wands, Oatmeal, Omael, <laughs> the Patient God, Fertility and uh, Multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. And, um, all right, so this is the Eight of Pentacles, Lechabelle, uh, God the Teacher, Intellectual Talent uh, provides knowledge. Okay, we've got the star, Vasaraya, God, the just, clemency and equilibrium, protects against attacks in the courts. All right. Just trying to keep on the same angel demon number at the same time, just so you guys can at least, I don't know, I guess compare them. Uh, the nine of pentacles. Ayahuaya. <sighs> right? Ayahuaya. Okay. Uh, the omniscient God, submission to higher order, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. The King of Pentacles. The adored uh, Lahaya. Lahaya. The adored God. Obedience causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. That looks like Shaka Khan. Temperance, Shakaka, <laughs> Sha, Shaukaya, Shaukaya, I think, Shakakan, whatever. Reconciliation regains the favor of those 
one has offended. I hope I did not offend anyone. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Monadel, the honorable God. Inner and outer work helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. Two of Swords. Aniel, God, Lord of all virtues, breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers, brings victory. Queen of Swords. Ha Mia. Uh, God, the hope of all the earth. Ritual and ceremony can acquire all the treasures of heaven and earth. Ten of, oops, sorry, three of swords. Uh, Rehael, uh, the quickly forgiving God, love and submission, cures illness, influence, or influences paternal love, gives long life. I like that three of swords meaning better than this one. Okay. Page of Cups, Ayayazel, Ayayazel, okay, God who rejoices, divine comfort, gives consolation and protection from one's enemies. If you like my pronunciations, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun with them as I am. Okay, Four of Swords, ha ha hell, ha ha hell. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, the God of Trinity. Mission protects against slander and impetuous people. All right. And then we have the Emperor. I feel like. Okay. Uh, the Emperor Mikhail. Uh, like unto God, political authority gives safe travel and protects against conspiracies. And we have the Five of Cups. <sighs> view Aliyah. View Aliyah. View I think that's it. God, King, and Ruler. Prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. High Priestess. Ayalahaya. God, the Eternal lasting success protection from magistrates the six of cups god who stirs all men motivation lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated knight of cups ariel in uh or ariel the revealing god perception and revelation discovers hidden treasures Reveal secrets of nature. Seven of Cups. God, the just judge. Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. I would use this angel deck in definitely, maybe even both decks in a, like, a legal reading, right? Want to know the outcome or what you need to do? I might, I might be using these cards for, to consult. Okay, now we have the Empress, um, which is Mahail, um, Godfather, the Generous. That's interesting. Why'd they take the woman out of there? God, the mother. It should be mother. There's even a woman in the picture. All right. Godfather, the Generous. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands, Vehuel, the great and exalted God, grander, makes one passionate toward God. King of Wands, Daniel. Oh, that's an easy one. God, the merciful judge, eloquence, gives answers to those in doubt. Nine of Wands, God, the impenetrable secret, universal medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of mysteries. Judgment. Ama Mia. Ama Mia. God hidden in darkness, atonement of errors, destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. 
Ten of Wands, God humiliating the proud. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of laws. I never thought of this card as being a proud person who can't ask for help. Um, but in many, many card decks, they depict this guy already fallen in the dirt, that this, <laughs> this load is way too heavy. Um, so humiliating the proud, not being able to accept help. I, I'm going to take that lesson from this, from this unboxing for sure. Okay. Uh, God humiliating the proud, spiritual communication influences uh, religious men, teachers, and men of law. Okay, Ace of Cups. Nathiel. Nathiel. God, the King of Heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. Queen of Pentacles. Mebahaya. Mebahaya. The eternal God, intellectual lucidity, provides consolation and compensations. She's rich. She's rich in every deck. <laughs> She's just rich in every deck. Okay. Uh, two of Pentacles, Poyel. God who supports the universe, fortune and fame fulfills any request. I want to summon that angel. Fulfill any request. All right, I request you win the lottery. Poyel, send me the winning lottery numbers. Okay. Oop. Seven of Pentacles, Nema Maya, Nema Maya. Um, the lovely God, discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance of prisoners. All right, Three of Pentacles. Oh, more alphabet soup. Okay. Aya. Wait. Aya. Aya yell. Aya yell. Okay. God hearing lamentations. Mental force protects against sorrows and illness. All right. Knight of Swords. Harahel. The all pervading God, intellectual richness, protects fertility of women, makes children respectful towards their parents. He sounds like a disciplinarian. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Mizrael. God liberating the oppressed. He goes after the Mizrael people of the world. Okay. God liberating the oppressed. Self-atonement. Oopsies. Um, cures mental illness, uh, deliverance from persecution. So we can compare those and see those. I keep moving them. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Ace of Swords. Umabel. God above, all names elevated. Affinity and friendship. Obtain the friendship of anyone. I hope y'all are my friends. Okay. Five of Swords. Aya Hell. God, the highest being, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. The Six of Swords, the gentle God, perception of unity, protects against accidents, heals the sick. The Sun, Mihail, the vivifying God, Restoration of life, protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. The world, Damabaya, God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. Seven of Swords, Manakel. God nurturing and maintaining everything, knowledge of good and evil, appeases divine anger, cures epilepsy. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to end up using these decks together. I can just um, see myself doing some shadow readings using just these decks. Um, it'll be, it'll be interesting when I compare um, some of my other above and below and shadow tarot decks too, um, to see 
to see kind of the difference before and after above and below we've got left to do maybe a couple others <laughs> okay um okay so eight of cups I a yell uh, God, the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives consolation in, in adversity. Nine of Cups. Habu Haya, the God or God, the kindest giver. Healing perseveres, health and cures diseases. This is the King of Cups. Rochelle, God seeing everything. Restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. The Hermit, Aya Bamaya, Aya Bamaya, right for fire, Aya, no, Aya Bamaya. Okay, Word of God creating all alchemy and transformation, rules, natural events, helps with spiritual progress. Okay, the Ten of Cups. Haya Ayel, Haya Aya Ayel, Haya Aya Ayel. Okay, God, Master of the Universe. He Man, Master of the Universe. Okay, a uh, Divine Warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. Okay, so that's the Ten of Cups. Um, how did I miss a card? 71. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Somehow along the line I missed a card and I apologize. It was a demon card. It was not a angel card. <clears throat> okay. So. Death card. Um, Mamaya. This is the last card in the angel deck. God, the end of the universe. Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. Alrighty. So that takes us through to the end of the angel deck. Um, I am going to shuffle. Um, the cardstock on these are, are brilliant. I love them. Um, they really are great. Um, it's great cardstock. Just do kind of a comparison here of my old deck and the new deck. So it's slightly thicker than my old hundred year old deck there. Um, let's see how it shuffles. Um, these are still kind of sticky. These gold edges. Um, not a whole lot of bending. Let's try. I like the golden edges and the silver edges and the red edges on card decks. Fell out nicely. They're not really sticking together. Doesn't feel like they're sticking. They're falling out one at a time. I like it. I like that. Okay, they're coming out upside down, so let's see if I can get them to come out right side up by flipping the deck around. These definitely need to be cleansed. All right, so some people, they shuffle this way. Those came out really... Those really come out like that. But also, I'm not really... I don't really have the deck kind of doing what it's supposed to do. Alright, so for those of you who shuffle that way, that's how it shuffles that way. And then some of you, I know, probably shuffle. I'm never good at this one. I will never, ever pull cards this way. But I know some of, the, some of you do. But, um, I don't know. This one's a little bit, a little bit different. It's not as bad as some that stick together, but this would be harder, I think, to do that. I'm not good at it, so I don't do it. Alrighty, there we are. Got all these cards just popped out. We've got a Michael. Thank you all so very much for watching. Um, look for more unboxings, and I'll be doing readings here soon, too. Um, I hope you enjoyed.
And um, these are the decks that we compared. Have a wonderful day.